Hi there, Marty here from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. I've uh, just got back from an overseas trip. I went to England for a couple of weeks. And part of the reason I went over there was to try and find some Matchbox models that needed restoration. Uh, as you may know, Matchbox models were made in England. So I thought it was a fantastic place to look for some old models to restore on my channel. And I wasn't wrong. Although initially I couldn't find any because I went off season and all the car boot sales and uh, village markets were closed because it was winter. Uh, but I eventually found some cars and I was going to show you some of my haul today in this video. Um, so this is basically what I brought back with me. And I'm not going to talk about them all otherwise this video will go for hours. So what I shall do is I shall set some aside and just show you some of the more special ones or the ones that I feel are special. First of all, here's a couple of uh, Super Kings or King Size, I think they were called. Now, uh, normally I'll concentrate on the smaller versions, but I thought just to uh, refresh my channel in the future, I'll probably be doing some of these uh, King Size ones. But I won't talk about those just yet. Instead, I'd like to discuss these ones. So, this first little box here, this first little collection, this was from Nigel Watts of North Walsham in Norfolk, who I've known for a number of years. And he was very kind to fossick around in the roof of his house, and he found a box of toys he had as a kid. And some of them were actually uh, given to him by his older brother. So these are really old models. So I'll just quickly show you them. This one here, for example, is a number 32A, Jaguar XK140 and this first came out in 1957 and I can honestly say that I think that this is the oldest vehicle in my collection now so it's going to make for a fantastic video. Uh, at the moment though it is absolutely crammed packed full of clay or something similar there's a bit there dropped out and if customs had known about it they would have probably uh, confiscated it off me but you know that, there's one. Uh, secondly, I'd like to show you this, which is another Jaguar, only this one is the 3.4 litre version and this came out a couple of years later than this one in 1959. They were still make for really good restorations. Now this one I particularly like, it's a tiny little tractor here. Uh, this is particularly old, again 1957, and they're all, these, all, all these models here are from the original series. So they're very old and collectible but not in this condition. For example, the, the driver's head here is missing. So what I shall probably do is source a replica driver and fix this up and make it look brand new. Now the thing is, Nigel wanted one of these back, so this is the one I'm going to send him. So I'm going to do an extra special job on that for Nigel and give it back to him to say thanks for, thanks for helping me out. This one here is a Cadillac. Uh, these came in three different colours green, silver and lilac and at first I was uh, a bit bemused as to what colour this came out in originally. Um, there's hardly a, any original paint left on it. Somebody's painted it yellow in its lifetime and all the yellow paints come off so it's had a hard life but just underneath here on the rear bumper there's some tiny little flecks of lilac paint. So I should be painting this one lilac and make it look like it did when it was brand new. Here is a Vauxhall Victor Estate. This one's going to be quite challenging. Why? Because the rear door's missing. I thought I might have a go at 3D printing a replacement part. If that doesn't work, I'll try and source a spare part from overseas. But again, it's a real tatty little looking example and should come up good. And finally from Nigel of North Walsham, and I thank you again, I've got this lovely green army truck. It's so simple, but in its own way, it's, it's highly detailed and quite cute. And this little model will form part of my, what I like to call my battle group. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'll put these aside. Okay, in relation to my little comment I made about my battle group collection that I was going to make, uh, that one there is from Nigel, if you remember, while well, these ones over here are from uh, one of my subscribers who I met up with overseas. 
a great guy called Dean Bedell from Aylsham in Norfolk. And he had a huge trunk of, of model cars from his childhood. And he very generously allowed me to forage through it. And basically, anyone that took my fancy, he just said, have it, keep it, take it, it's yours. And I couldn't believe the generosity of this guy. Anyway, I tried to restrain myself. I didn't want to be greedy. And I, I, I grabbed a few that I thought would make for fantastic makeovers for my channel, of course. Um, a lot of them are military-style uh, vehicles. So, for example, uh, here I have this magnificent example of a tank transporter. Yeah, And I just love this model. But not only that, he also supplied me with two, uh, I think they're Centurion tanks. They actually fit on the back here and complete the, uh, the set. So what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to do them up, make them look like brand new. And one of them I'm going to send back to him because he wanted to give it to his son as a gift. And I think that's a great idea. So that's what I'll be doing. And I've also got a couple of other military-style vehicles in my collection. And I'm thinking I might do them all at the same time because they're all the same color. And it should make for an interesting diorama, maybe. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, this one here was the ambulance. I missed that one there, it's out of my uh, line of sight. So yeah, I've got all these vehicles here, and they're gonna look pretty good all done up. The original reason why I met up with him was because he had sent me a picture of this model here, which is a quarry truck, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty damn grotty. But I looked at this and instantly knew that I was destined to have this, and take it under my wing and restore it so that it looks brand new again. And that's my challenge for the day, or probably the next week, and that is what I shall be doing. Uh, there's a bit of a story with this. Uh, Dean had a rat in his back garden, and it was annoying him, so he watched it one day, and it, it hid under some flagstones in his back garden. So he lifted the stones up and found like a little rat nest. And as he was digging it out to try and get to this rat and kill it, he found this. And it actually belonged to the former owner of the house, who he knows. So he touched base with him and said, is this your truck you had as a child? And, it, and his mate said, yes. So this vehicle had been buried for 30 years in this like area near the rat hole, and that's why it looks so disgusting. So that's going to be great. Anyway, uh, man, many of you would have seen the E-Type Jaguar video, which is one of my most popular at the moment. And it's so popular, I thought I might do another one. But this one here is from Dean also. And it's been painted as a child. The windscreen's been painted red, of all things. And the body's been painted gold, which probably looked good at the time. But what I intend to do with this one is my first ever uh, custom model. I notice another, other restorers do customs from time to time just to amuse themselves. Well, I thought I might do this and it might amuse you. Uh, what I intend to do with this one is do it in British Racing Green, which it never came out, it, it never came out in that colour originally. And I thought I might make a decal of a Union Jack for the roof. So it should look pretty cool when it's finished, I hope. So I'll do a video on that. And last but not least from Dean, although he did supply me with other models. I just thought I'd show you this little motorbike. Now it's not the Honda motorbike that belongs with the trailer that I mentioned in a previous video, but it is a very nice example of a Honda motorcycle model. And again, it's Matchbox. And I won't be restoring this up because it's just a little beauty and I like it. And he generously let me have that. So once again, thank you, Dean, for your help. And it was great catching up with you over there in the little pubs of England and having a couple of pints and some fish and chips. I really enjoyed it. Now, moving on to this last box here. This box of models here was not donated. What I actually did was I went out uh, searching for antique shops, and many of them were shut. Most of them were shut, in fact. They must have heard I was on the road. So I got these models from a place called Furniture Fair in Cromer. And it's run by a nice guy called David G. And uh, he actually let me have them cheaper than normal because he felt they were going to a good home. 
So thanks, Dave. I really appreciated that. And uh, these are going to make for marvellous makeovers. They're all the old ones again. This one's an old blue bus. So I've got this beautiful old style green coach. This one here I particularly like is a Mercedes Benz and it's got an opening boot. Somebody's painted the roof black, so that needs uh, sorting out. Uh, I've got uh, another racing car that I never knew existed. Um, I did two earlier in the year, and I saw this one and thought, wow, I never even knew that existed. So I'm going to have that one. So I've got that one. This one here is an electric trolley bus. You can see the pickup on the roof there. And uh, it's, it's in a terrible condition. It's been painted multiple times, I think. Probably had many owners in its life. Well, now it's, now it's mine. I'm going to make it look like brand new again. But this is a jewel in the crown, and I love this one. It's the uh, Canteen trailer. And uh, if I open this up, you can see inside there's a fantastically detailed little area with a, a tea urn cash register and some pots and pans there and this will be great fun to do up I'm gonna to have to make a lot of decals for it both on the top and on the side here and on the back and give it a, uh, a good paint job clean it up and make it look brand new again so I'm really looking forward to that one because it's a nice little model so I hope you found that interesting anyway that's a little insight into my trip overseas and where I went and what I got up to and uh, I've really, this is probably half of what I got. Um, I didn't want to show you the whole lot because uh, you've got to save something for later. And not only that, the video would have gone for too long. So when I got home from England, all these packages were piled up on the dining room table. They'd been delivered during my absence. I was overseas for almost a month and uh, I was amazed to see how many packages had arrived. Luckily, I left Kevin at home house sitting. And he had signed for all of these and taken them in when the postman called. So what I intend to do with these is basically make up a midweek video for you guys to watch. Uh, I shan't be opening them all at, one, at once. I shan't be opening them all at once. I'll be pacing myself. But uh, they should make for some interesting midweek videos. And uh, we should keep the interest there in between my makeovers which as you know come out uh, generally every Saturday night and thank you for watching this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers saying goodbye welcome to Marty's Matchbox Makeovers